Hi everyone, welcome back to Pixie Woo Fashion Face. I'm going to do a Cheryl Cole look for you today. Basically, it's a pretty, really simple look to be honest. It's just quite fair skin, nicely groomed brows, a little bit of black through the liner and a bright red lip. Um, it's very much a Cheryl look that she normally wears but just with um, a red lip rather than a bright pink one. If you get extremely oily skin, use a primer now. I don't. My skin's pretty dry so I'm just going to use my Armani foundation. This is Armani Silk. I'm actually going to blend it with a tiny bit of white face and body. Is that one there? Um, because she's very bleached out in the shot and I've got quite high colour. So I just want to... Um, see how that is on my arm, I've put the white just over that on my hand. So I just want to kind of lighten my skin a tiny bit without it looking too silly. It looks quite light at the moment but this foundation is quite sheer so it will let my colour come through and won't look quite so white in a minute. And obviously if you are lightening the skin or even darkening the skin up. Don't forget to do the ears and the neck. I like to use my foundation over my eyes as well. Um, just to even it over. I like to have a completely blank canvas before I even start to do anything. the excess of the product that I've got left just down my neck a little bit now using my MAC 224 and NW20 in MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer as um, Cheryl's skin's so bleached out you can see where I've got a little bit of high colour so I'm going to brush a very small amount of this just over my cheeks to stop that colour showing through quite so much Gonna also use this under my eyes. Cheryl's brows are very dark in this video, so luckily, because mine are bleached, although they're starting to grow through the colour, I can um, manipulate the shape of them a little bit. I haven't powdered my foundation because, just in case um, any fall down comes from my products, I don't want to powder it too much and then. Um, not be able to clean away because I've put too much there. So I'm going to use Bobbi Brown in an eyeshadow called Mahogany, which is very dark. And this is going to be used on my brows. I'm using a Laura Mercier pencil. This one, uh, not pencil, brush. This one is a brow definer, which I love. It's really, really um, a quite strong bristles, and you can get a really lovely shape from it. So it's my favourite brush for brows. A nice, clean, sharp end. And then just brushing upwards through the front of the brows. So it's not quite so solid. You can see where I'm flicking my brows up slightly. Especially if you're swimming or something in your brow, you've got no brows on. Look rather strange. I'm going to use a tiny bit of my Makeup Forever pencil. Um, it's got two different colours at each end. I'm going to use a slightly lighter shade. Doesn't have a name. And I'm just going to draw that. I'm going to zoom in for you. I'm going to draw that through here. just to sharpen that brow even more. Then with a MAC pencil brush I'm just gonna blend it so you can't see that that line is there. 
or with my finger. Right, next I'm going to use a little bit of Primer Potion by Urban Decay all over the eye. This um, is a new Primer Potion, it's actually got a little bit of colour to it. Not much, but I quite like that it's got a bit of colour. So it's still primer, but slightly coloured. I'm going to use my finger for this. It's pointless dirty another brush when I can use my finger just to tap that on. Now on the front cover of the album, Cheryl's actually got black nails. Well, I've just had my three week manicure done by Nails Inc. So I, and I didn't want to go black for three weeks, so I've gone slightly purpley instead. So you'll have to excuse that I'm not completely Cheryl'd up today. Well, that's a nice primer for close up look. It's a really pretty colour. Right, I am going to use my double wear black eyeliner stay in place um, and I'm just going to run that all the way along the eye along the lash line so I don't want it too smudged but I also don't want it too um, perfect also along with that I'm going to use a MAC um, rapid black liner You can see it's not too perfect. With my black pencil again underneath here. So up on the waterline at the top of the eye. I tend to just shut my eye and do it, and it's not so horrific by doing it that way. So that's the kind of shape she's got also with a lot of it inside the eye so eye down all the way along on the inside of the eye and then the corner it just goes a little bit thicker and just joins up but not all the way along thicker so just want to take that right into the lash line in here put a little bit thicker here on the outer corner and with my angle lash just blend those two together I am using my new one that I've just bought which is Hypnose from um, Lancome and I really like it although the next one I'm going to buy is the new Dior so that's the kind of shape Cheryl's got I know it's not the prettiest thing to look at someone doing that, sorry. Let's get it again. I'm just going to pull that out from the underneath. If you find it hard to match them up, because we're doing underneath, just pull it out as you're going and you'll get the same line as, as hopefully on that side. Just check with this that it doesn't move too much on you. On some people it can move around quite a bit. Um, it seems fine on me. So that's the eyes pretty much done. Although I'm going to come back um, to do a bit, some false lashes. I just want to go back to the skin now. 
a little bit of my bronze universal which I love so much um, I'm gonna use that before I've powdered so I can have a bit of movement with it on the with the foundation now Cheryl only has a really small amount just here almost So really softly blended. I'm taking it right up to my ears. Powder. This is translucent, but I think the shade is 20. Um. Just to hold it all in place. Okay, on the lip, very red lip for this one. I'm going to use um, Barry M. These are so soft, you can get an amazing colour payoff from them. Now I'm going to go a little bit fuller with my lips just so it matches with the look a little bit more because mine are very small. I'm going to colour that all in. So Chanel 19. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Now I got um, three lipsticks from Chanel from the Rouge Coco range. Um, I've got Paris, which is obviously because there's a store in Paris. Let's have a look at Paris. I can show you. I think these are just the most beautiful colours. So that's a, a kind of deep classic red, they're all classic reds. I have then got Gabrielle which is obviously named after Gabrielle Chanel herself and I have got Cambon which is also gorgeous. It's um, the Paris street that Chanel's on it's also um, Karl Lagerfeld has his offices above the um, the Chanel store and it is the place where Chanel herself lived so she lived above the store and they still have it exactly as she left it so if you go if you were to go there um, upstairs it's all set out exactly the same and they also do a lot of their shoots from there so if you look at some of their campaigns it will all be um, not always but quite often it's shot there and that's what I really love about Chanel is they keep it very to how her way was. They don't try to um, to change it too much. And these colours are amazing. I don't really know what the net, the numbers come from, but I'm pretty sure they'll all have something um, in relevance to Chanel herself. So um, yeah, I love those products. They're really, really beautiful. Get in and give them a try if you can. Probably reasonably expensive for people, but um, well worth it because they go on beautifully, really beautifully. Over the top of my lipstick, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of Bote Gloss um, just a red one, which is kind of a little bit sheer, but uh, Cheryl's lips were slightly gloss glossy in the um, on the front cover. I've got Mac Number Seven lashes. The makeup's the same. I, unfortunately, the model's not. If you're struggling to put on lashes, just refer back to the lash video, it should make it pretty easy. But if we were to explain everything in every video, they'd be so long. So there's a little um, look for you guys at a Cheryl Cole front cover makeup. If you like it, you can give it a go. Thanks a lot, have a nice day, bye.